Today, I'm here to talk to you about working out, more specifically, home workouts. A lot of people like to work out from their house. Uh, they don't have equipment. They don't know what to do. So I want to give you a couple of guidelines. But before I start talking all about exercise at home, uh, I want to talk about the importance of exercise. Weight training or resistance training and cardiovascular work, exercise has been shown to really, number one, increase longevity, improve the quality of your life, boost immune function, brain health. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. It's, it's endless, the amount of research that's out there uh, to help support your body and health. Guys, exercise is critical. A few prerequisites to exercise. Number one, get your food right. Food and nutrition and supplementation and all those things combined are about, I would say, 70%. So get your food right. Number two, sleep and recovery. Sleep is critical to exercise success and body success. And research shows that sleep deprivation causes a lot of problems. So we got to make sure, number one, to boost immunity, other things as well, that sleep is on point. Get that sleep right. And number three, hydration, hydration, hydration. Get wet and stay wet. H to the hizzo, uh, like Jay-Z said. Get water every single day at high amounts. Most people uh, can consume about at least 80 to 100 ounces of water a day. You guys try to go for 100 ounces of water depending on your specific situation. 80 to 100 ounces of water every single day. What does water do? Well, let's talk about what it doesn't do. Dehydration causes strength loss, causes brain issues, causes even some immune problems actually dehydration can cause. It can cause you to also lower the ability to gain muscle. Hydration is critical for fitness success and health and body success. So make sure your body is hydrated with pure, crisp, clean water, uh, at least 100 ounces a day, 80 ounces at least, minimum, minimum, but try to go for about 100 ounces a day. Uh, that's nearly a gallon, so you know, you're going to have to uh, get that in if you can. And again, that includes pure water, not just liquids. So make sure you do that. And by the way, one of the pitfalls of fitness is drinking your calories. A lot of people don't realize that Frappa Mocha, you know, flavored uh, coffee drink has 500 calories in it. And uh, it can really cause a lot of issues with sugar. And that's another thing that exercise does, by the way. It helps you control blood sugar. So anyone out there who's a diabetic, what do the doctors recommend? Go walk, go exercise, go weight train, because it can really help you control blood sugar sugar levels. And we want to use exercise to improve the quality of your life. A lot of people out there are seniors, uh, individuals over 60, 70. Exercise for them is even more critical because exercise has been shown to improve bone density. Bones get frail as we age. And so weight or resistance training can help support or improve bone health. It can help prevent or help uh, lower brain fog and it can help brain function. In fact, they're putting treadmills in school sometimes uh, before tests with kids. They're making them walk on treadmills before they take tests and they've shown test scores to be higher because activity move. We have to move. Humans are created for movement. God created us to move. He gave us, uh, you know, he gave us joints. We, we move. We got, we, you know, we got to move because we're not blobs. We're not just rolling along, right? We have been given joints. We've been given ways to move. So we got to use that and use that to exercise. We live in a sedentary society. And if you're, for example, home a lot, then you're completely very sedentary. You've got Netflix and chill. You've got Amazon Prime and you know all that stuff, right? So we don't want all that. We want to move. We want to exercise. So a couple of things you can do at home. Again, I'm talking to you older individuals. Make sure you do it. Um, a few things. Number one, use your body weight. It's called isometric movement. Isometric movement can basically help you increase resistance with just body weight. So what does that mean, isometric? Isometric means holding an exercise at the middle of it. So for example, if you're doing a push-up, go halfway up and hold, right? Or go against the wall and push as hard as you can against that wall. Right? That resistance can help you really stimulate lean muscle and it can actually help bone density as well. There's so many things you can do just with your body weight. You don't even need any equipment. If you have bands, great. If you have dumbbells at your house, great. If you have milk, 
cartons, great. If you have water bottles, great. You can use all those things. If you have a couch, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> we don't want you to lift couches or anything. Not, not yet, not yet. That's uh, advanced level. That's VIP level. Anyway, uh, we want to make sure that you can use your body weight to do exercises. Okay, so easiest things you can do at home, jumping jacks, right? You could do jumping jacks. This is cardio. You could do burpees, right? But be careful on burpees when you go down. Go down slow, right? And then explode up fast. Those are the things you got to do. Uh, number three, push-ups. There's a million different variations for push-ups you could do. Wide grip, close grip, or tricep, focus on shoulders, focus on chest. This is easy to do at home. You could do elevated push-ups. You could do incline push-ups. You could do decline push-ups off a couch, whatever it is. You guys can do it. Whatever you need to do at home, it's available to you as long as you have your body weight, right? Uh, body weight squats are great, especially for older individuals uh, who have balance problems. I know that a lot of older individuals I work with have some balance issues as they get older. And so squats can really help with that. Body weight squats, just you can grab dumbbells, you can grab water bottles, you can grab two bags, backpacks, suitcases, whatever, uh, light if, if it's light or whatever your level is and do body weight squats all the way down, all the way up. Keep your heels flat. You want to keep your chest up always and breathe. Breathing is critical. Breathing is important not only for health and wellness and we use it in meditation and prayer, but we also want to use it in exercise. Don't hold your breath while training. Now, body weight exercises can also include lunges. You could take one step forward and do a lunge, and you could do it with weight or without weight. You could do step ups on a couch or a little, uh, 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 you know, something like an ottoman or something like that. You could do little step ups if it can hold your weight, and you could do many things off of the edge of a couch. You could do sofa kind of dips. You know, use the triceps, use the shoulders, and. Also, a lot of other things you can do is you can use water bottles and things at home that are evenly weighted to do shoulder laterals. You could do shoulder presses overhead. Uh, you could do curls. You could do kickbacks for triceps. So there's a multitude of exercises and circuits you can do. Another great thing to do is called mountain climbers. Mountain climbers means you put your hands flat and you kind of run in place as fast as you can, knees to your chest. These are the kind of cardiovascular high intensity type workouts that can really help you you get some great results. And again, another exercise to strengthen core and abdominal strength is planks. You can do a million different varieties of planks. You can do them off your hands, you can do them off your elbows, you can do them sideways, million different ways. And abdominal work. You only need a floor. I always say people, people are like, oh, do I need equipment? Do I need a bench? Do I need this, that? I'm like, listen, do you have a floor at home? Do you have carpet? Or do you have a floor? They're like, yeah. It's like, that's all you need. Okay, go on the floor, do crunches, focus on the abs, exhale on the way up, uh, do three sets of 20 or 30 repetitions. You could do leg raises. You could lie flat, put your hands underneath your back, and then basically you could do leg raises, right, to work the lower part of the abdomen and the whole abdomen in general as well. And this is all, again, part of a program, part of a system that includes sleep, hydration, includes good nutrition, proper nutrition. And when you include all that and you have that synergistic effect with exercise, even at home, then you can have amazing results in terms of your fitness, health, wellness, immune boosting effects uh, as well. So combine all those things, do those workouts that I kind of mentioned. They're easy to do and you can find many of them, the technique online as well. But those combination of exercises together, kind of full body workouts can really help you improve your body and health.